meteorologist Nick Humphrey comments on climate change and doomers. Note that he simply points out well no climate and earth science facts. I apologize for the very long post but, this is an important statement for me and I want to make it easy to share. Doom and gloom folks, like me, are constantly thrown under the bus for saying that there's nothing that can be realistically done on climate change. I have no issue with our global society doing things to alleviate the effects of climate change as much as possible and limit the suffering and hardship of people and our biosphere. This is a moral obligation I believe. However, the idea that doom as opponents call it is a self-fulfilling prophecy is laughable and assumes that humans are in complete control of the planetary climate change underway. We are not. Methane powerful greenhouse gas as well as carbon dioxide, in just recent years has begun to pour out of the Arctic dot 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 subsea and land dot 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 at increasing rates on top of increasing human emissions. The planet is losing the ability to reflect sunlight because of decreasing Arctic sea ice and alpine glaciation allowing the planet to take in more heat which it will retain. The ocean is becoming saturated with carbon dioxide as it undergoes acidification. Tropical rain forests are becoming emitters of carbon and not sinks. The oceans are warming rapidly and retaining massive amounts of heat into the climate system. The planet has enough CO2 and other greenhouse gases to warm to a hothouse climate. Etc. Etc. Population declines and extinctions are increasing. In other words there are processes now beyond human control which cannot be stopped simply by humans stopping things. They must and will continue to fall fruition. The incredible level of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere make this reality absolute. It can be called a doomer viewpoint, however I call it reality. Humans are not in control of everything and this seems to be an extremely difficult but harsh lesson for a species so used to controlling its own destiny. You might ask how can a meteorologist with a master's degree and expertise in weather forecasting, no more than the big PhD climate scientists who say we can still turn this around? I actually do not. These problems are well known and have been discussed among scientists. And technically by the laws of physics, as the UN Intergovernmental Panel of Climate Change has noted, it is possible to remove the massive amounts of greenhouse gases from the atmosphere, which must be done in addition to ending use of fossil fuels, to stop and reduce the planet's warming. However, what's possible by the laws of physics versus what's physically practical are two different things. The enormous amount of energy and land areas which would be required to build a carbon capture and storage infrastructure make it extremely impractical, to put it mildly, as well as far far above any industrial scale process humanity has ever created. And to build both a global carbon capture, storage and renewable energy infrastructure to power a growing civilization would add to the tens of billions of tons of carbon dioxide added yearly just from humans into the atmosphere, which then has to also be removed or climate change will accelerate even further. You need business as usual to speed up to get off of business as usual. These are all well-known paradoxes. Scientists who have taken the torch of trying to deal with the difficult task not helped by outright climate denying campaigns, of communicating this mind boggling predicament have, in many cases tasked themselves with being climate solutions champions so as to give hope that science and technology along with individual action will save our world and not paralyze people with fear. This is the strategy used by many public communicating climate scientists. Dot 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 man, hey ho, and others. But to me, Scientists have an obligation to be providers to the hard truths and not social engineers of hope or despair. People have a right to react as they see fit to terrible news, but we should be like doctors providing a diagnosis and not cheerleaders of hope versus despair. If certain treatments can't work or are unrealistic, we must say so. This does not mean one cannot act. Humans are actors and hope is part of being human but we need a different kind of hope and action.
My hope would be society moving to a deep adaption recognizing the catastrophic to existential crisis underway and do everything possible to reduce harms as much and as long as possible. Migrate people away from coastal cities which will be underwater and increasingly under threat from more powerful storms. Help those migrating from the tropics because of climate change, the current caravan isn't just about geopolitics. Nor the Syrian civil war. Droughts are increasing in these areas, and allocate resources more fairly to provide basic needs to those most in need within and between nations. Have more restrictions on not only greenhouse gas emissions, but food. Water waste recognizing the predicted declines in supply. End insane deforestation practices and trading of products which promote deforestation and extinction of species. Forget stopping climate change, humanity is not even doing these physically easier, using the term loosely here, big deal measures to slow the extinction of species and suffering of fellow humans. Why? because we are too busy either denying the problem altogether or denying there are irreversible consequences we must accept. My Duma mentality to some is simply realism. We do not control nature's response to us, we are a part of nature. Comma and what people can control they refuse to do on an industrial and governmental level. We cannot stop climate change. Saying that is not a goofy self fulfilling prophecy, it is reality. My only hope is that society realizes this and stops screwing out with climate denialism or harebrained schemes to stop the mess that's already been created and the irreversible response by our world, instead work to actually do things which show compassion for each other and our fellow species.